when you have a string that you want to read, so character str, say I have over here 100, and uh, you do a scanf to read it. So I'm going to say printf str just to, to, have, to have a prompt to read the string. <clears throat> scanf, okay. Percent s reads exactly up to the first occurrence of a white space character, whatever it is. Tab space, backspace, vertical space, any type of white space character, it's going to stop. So printf str. And I'm going to put over here percent %s to print it out. So if I run this program, if I actually write over here fardat solimanlu, if I hit enter, fardat's what's read. The rest remains in the keyboard. It's junk in the keyboard, the rest. That you have the keyboard flush, okay? Now, <clears throat> when you actually type something, what do you want to read? Let's say that fardat solimanlu that I want to actually put. You can actually tell to scanf, First of all, you can say how far to go maximum. Okay, so if I have ten care, if I have ten characters to read, which means eleven as a string, I can put over here ten, which means read up to ten characters and stop. Don't go more than that. So if I actually run this, and I put A B C D E F G H. I, J, K, L, M, N, O, and I hit enter, it reads exactly up to 10 characters and stuff. So that's first thing that you need to know. Maximum, and the rest remains in the keyboard. Anything that it doesn't read, it's in a keyboard that you have to flush. Okay? Now, sometimes you have to read up to certain things. So let's say I have, I have comma-separated values, and I want to read up to comma and then skip that comma and go to next comma. And I want to do like that. So I have few things that I want to read. So say I have two, two commas up. I, I want to read up to comma. If I want to do that, then what I can do, I can remove the S, and I put a regular expression thing over there and say up to not. This is not in regular expression, comma. It means read everything except comma. Stop at comma. So if I do something like that, it stops at comma. So if I actually run this program now like this, I can do fardat, comma, solimanlu, or whatever. I can even type my last name, and fardat is picked up. Comma, and the rest of the stuff remain in the keyboard. Are we okay with this? Yes. So that would read 10 characters unless there's a comma? Unless there's a comma, whichever comes first, okay? Now, if I have two comma separated values that I want to read, so I have SDR1 and SDR2 that I want to read. What do I do? So I need another one, and I want the other one to be up to 20, let's say. Okay? Not more than that. So what I'll do over here, I have to say, scanf, read up to comma, skip the comma, so you see, when whatever you put in printf gets printed. In printf, when you put something in the format string, it gets printed, right? In scanf, anything you put in the format string must get matched, and it skips. So if it's not comma, it will stop. Like if you want to enforce somebody to enter a date with a slash, you have to put a slash. If you enter a date with a dash, it won't accept. It has the entry of the user must match that one. So what did I say over here? I say go up to 10 character and comma and then skip the comma. What does it mean? Definitely that's a comma. Unless it's more than 10 characters then we're in trouble. Right? So when it stops at comma, definitely the next thing that comes up is comma, right? So I'm going to say, read up to comma, skip the comma you just stopped by, and read the second thing. Now I'm going to put only percent %s with no limitation. You know what the limitation does, right? Or in here, I'm going to say, read up to, 
Now let's say I want to have comma separated value for first name and last name. So the person is going to enter the first name and then they're going to enter the last name and that's it. Okay? So let's make these things bigger. I'm going to put over here 20 and I'm going to put over here 30. Okay? So now in here, if I enter my name, so if I say over here John, comma, then I put over here Suleiman Lu, oh, do, okay, then how do I e finish this? You have to add the comma. No, you hit enter, you finish. So you go John, comma, do, enter, right? Or new line, you go to the new line. So the next character is what? Backslash n, right? So I'm going to say read the first one till comma, skip the comma, read the second one on to back, up to backslash n, and skip the backslash n. Okay? So what happens is that after this, if user is kind of sane, kind of sane, then I don't need to flush the keyboard afterwards because it's going to skip that backslash n. Okay? So, or you can just ignore it like this and the backslash n remains in keyboard and then deal with it like every other thing that scanf does because scanf never reads the backslash n, right? It's always in the keyboard. When you read an integer, it reads the integer and the backslash n is in here. So it's your choice how you want to deal with it. Okay, so I'll put over here backslash n and uh, I'm going to say over here str and str2. str2. And in here, it's going to read an SDR and SDR2. And I'm going to print S percent S and percent S again. And run this program. Now in here, I'm going to say Fred, comma. I put a space over there. I shouldn't have. So if I put a space, it doesn't make any difference. I can put one, two, three, and I'll say Sole. So what happens is that it's going to read F. R E D and stops at comma, skips that comma, then it's going to read space, 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 S O L E I. So that string will have four spaces at the beginning because space is not the limiter anymore. So if I hit enter, that backslash and didn't work. I'll tell you why later on. It works on Linux, but not in here. I'll explain to you why. Anyway, so. And you have the exact same thing. As you see, it actually have spaces. I did not print any space over here. You see that. It only has one space between the two, but over here it has so many. So it actually reads that space. So if I walk through that, okay, let's do it like this. All right, so if I walk through that, I have SDR and SDR as garbage. Then I'll come over here, read the two. Now I'm going to put over here, Fred, comma, Soleil, and I hit enter. As you see, SDR has Fred, and SDR2 has space, 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 Soleil. So if you look at it, it's space, 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 and then Soleil. And then it puts a null at the end. Okay? Are we okay with this? Question? Um, if you wanted to print it, right, if you want to get rid of all the spaces they entered? Okay. Beautiful thing. Write a function called trim. Okay, it's a workshop, right? <laughs> so we can actually write a function called trim. Let's call it left trim. So we want to trim the left side. How would you do that? Yeah, get rid of all the spaces. So if I want to do that, then I have to write a function. I'll call it L trim. So void. L trim, left trim, and I'm going to get character string in here, correct? Is that right? Now, how do you trim? You, have to, you want to get rid of all the spaces, right? So you have to start from character zero. You have to say while str zero. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is a space. Did I do something wrong? Why are everybody laughing? Something happened? No? Between you guys? Okay. So I'm going to say while str1 is 0, then I'm going to copy one everything one to left. So, so what happens is that I have space, 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 and I, over here I have Fred. Okay? 
So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I have 0 over here, right? That I do like this, it means null, right? So what happens? Null. So I'll copy this one over here, this one over here, and I keep copying everything, including the null. I bring everything back. And I keep doing that until that thing is not 0 anymore, and then it stops, right? Should I do it, or you want to do it yourself as an exercise? No, no, I was just wondering. And it is. Actually, actually there, are, there, there are library functions in string.header file that you can use. But always do it yourself first at this stage and then use those things. Yes? Oh, gosh, yeah. OK. So let me stop the recording.